right now on H-Town High School Sports. It's the final four in the UIL baseball playoffs as these Pearland Oilers, the Cywoods Wildcats, and these Magnolia West Mustangs look to bring home state championships. We'll have the highlights. We got two more, that's all. We're off to Cywoods and Pearland for special reports on each of those teams. And we'll keep it in Pearland to hear from the 6A state softball champions. We just really showed our team's resilience and never giving up. Plus, it's the plays of the year from the baseball and softball diamonds. It's a gem of a show. h Town High School Sports starts now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to h Town High School Sports. I'm Todd Freed, and then there were three where in Class 6A baseball, the Paraline Oilers and the Cy Woods Wildcats both advance to the state tournament. While in Class 5A, Magnolia West also earned a berth to state. In the 6A state semifinals, Pearland faced Austin Westlake. Massive crowd at Dell Diamond in Round Rock. Top of the third, Oilers' Caden Ferraro drives it way back, and this one bounces over the wall for a ground rule double, scores a run, and the game was tied at one. Same at bat, Nico Partita at the plate. He lines it to right, catch is made. Brett Smostrela will tag at third. Here comes the throw, and he is safe. Two to one, Pearland. Same at bat, Braden Moore steps up for the Oilers, and Braden lines it to the gap in left center. The diving try is not made. Ferraro will score. It's three to one, Pearland on top. Very same at bat, John Moya rips it to right field. Morse will round third. Here comes the throw, and Morse will dive in. He's in there, four to one, Pearland. Then on defense, how about third baseman Damian Landry with the long throw, this is a strike, and he gets the runner. Top of the fifth now, more Pearland. Anthony Avalos steps up, and that's a base hit to right field. Matthew Leal will score, so does Landry, it's 6-1. Then John Moya steps up, hot shot up the middle. Morse and Avalos score. Impressively, Pearland wins by the 10-run roll, 11-1 to the final, Partida fires a four hitter as Pearland advances to the 6A state final. In the class 6A state final, Pearland face the Flower Mound Jaguars. Jags get on the board first. Zane Becker at bat, nice sacrifice bunt. Jaden Barfield makes the play, but Sam Erickson scores one to nothing Flower Mound. Bottom of the second inning for Pearland. Bases are loaded. Ball four, and John Moya will score. That cut the lead to two to one. Same at bat now. Caden Ferraro grounds the short. Jags try to turn two, but Ferraro is safe at first. Isaiah Castaneda scores. It's tied at two. In the third now, pitcher Jaden Barfield with the heat. He gets the strikeout. Same at bat though. Flower Mounds, Adrian Rodriguez rips it to left field way back. That is a two run homer. It's four to two, Flower Mound on top. Then Candy Schmidt in relief, runner on second, but the shortstop, Anthony Avalos, turns a nice double play and Pearland ends the threat. Top of the sixth inning now, Pearland's Jace Caceres tags it deep to left field. And that's out of here. A solo home run. That cuts the lead to 4-3. Same at bat. Runners are in second and third. One out. Nico Partita at the plate. He lines it to left center. But Sam Erickson, great catch. And then the runner on third is doubled up. Umpires rule he left the bag early. And that ends the Oilers rally. A tough break for Pearland. Top seven now. Fly ball, foul territory. Nico Partita after it, and a terrific catch. Bottom seven, last chance for the Oilers, trading 6-3. Chase Caceres, base hit to left field. That will score Braden Morse, it's 6-4. Then, base is loaded, two outs. Caden Ferraro at bat, hits it hard, but right to the first baseman, Cole Ridenor, and that's it. 
Flower Mound celebrates the 6A state championship. 6-4 the final in a tough, hard-fought state title game. Pearland finishes with a 38-7 record. Sensational season, but just one win shy of a state title. Time now for your Fred Haas Auto Group Game of the Week. Class 5A state championship, Magnolia West facing Argyle. Third inning, Mag West pitcher Kalon Digert with a pair of strikeouts. It was scoreless. Bottom four, Eagles have two on, but Digert gets the K, still scoreless. We go to the six. Mag West has the bases loaded. Jackson Blank at bat. He lines it to right center, and that will clear the bases. One run in, a second run in. Ball gets away, and three runs will score, and it's three to nothing Mustangs but not over yet. Bottom seven, Argyle rallies. Two RBI singles cuts the Mustangs lead to three to two. They have runners on second and third, two outs. The pitch from Digert, line drive to right center, but Jackson Blank comes on and he makes the final out. And the celebration is on. Three, two, your final. Magnolia West earns its first ever state baseball championship. How about that? Kalen Digert, the winning pitcher, lots of hugs to go around. What a moment for the Bulldogs. Raise up that championship trophy. When we came over here Thursday, our guys were on a mission. It was a business trip for them. You know, there wasn't a lot of cutting up. There's none of that. You could tell they were focused and they had one goal in mind. And, this, and to see them actually pull it off is something I'll remember for the rest of my life. And so will they. I, I can't even explain. Like, we've talked about it. And, we, you know, this is like, all right, this is our, we got a good group of kids. Let's see what we can do. I mean, it's un absolutely unbelievable. We'll, we won't forget this for the rest of our life. Neither will Magwes. State Finals MVP Jackson Blank gets a state championship. 30 years after his dad, Matt Blank, did the same at Arlington Martin. We've always talked about it. He's like, hey, you know, whenever I was little, hey, what if you want a state title? I mean, like, it would be great, but, you know, what is that going to actually happen? We worked so hard for it. To see that it actually came true now is, I mean, it's just unbelievable. And now I get a ring, too, to go with his ring, so. It's awesome. I'd say it's it's great for the people with, like around us, surrounding us, and be able to the fact that we can take that home to the community back in Magnolia. Congratulations to the state champions from Magnolia West. Your Fred Haas Auto Group Game of the Week. For the Pearland Oilers, it's been a phenomenal postseason, including last week's two-game sweep of Katy to wrap up the 6A Region 3 Baseball Championship. More now on an amazing season for those Pearland Oilers. With its 24th victory in the last 25 games, the Pearland Oilers earned a berth to the UIL 6A State Baseball Tournament, capped off by a two-game sweep of the Katy Tigers in the 6A Region 3 Finals. It's everything. I mean, it means the world to all of us. This is what we've been working for since we are like six years old. Oh, it's great. It feels great to have the whole community behind our backs, you know. Um, just, we're really proud to be able to represent so many people. The crowd that comes out to our games was just, it's so fun to play in front of them because it's people that we've known our whole lives and it's so good to finally be able to represent them at a state tournament. It feels amazing. You know, we worked hard all season. Past, past three years since I've been here, we've been working real hard and all these seniors, they worked their butt off all four years they've been here. In game two against Katy, the Oilers pulled out a thrilling two to one victory with no play any more thrilling than the amazing diving catch by Oilers center fielder Brett Smostrela off the bat of Katie Sutton Hull. I just saw it off the bat and started running towards the ball and just hoped I didn't dive into the wall. Ultimately, it was Smostrela's blue pit to center in the bottom of the seventh inning that scored the game-winning run with the ensuing celebration. It was amazing. It's been what we've been working for since the beginning of January. It just felt great as a team. The dog pile was amazing. <laughs> amazing for the likes of standout pitcher Jaden Barfield, who allowed a mere unearned run in the clinching victory. And with that, he follows quite nicely in the footsteps of older brother Jacob Barfield, seen here scoring for Pearland in the 2014 regional final victory over Brazoswood which was the last time Pearland earned a berth to state. So what does he have to say to you about 
uh, going to stay. He, he was just proud of me. He called, he called me tearing up, and he was just proud of me. Jaden and fellow senior Nico Partita, who fired a shutout in game one of the KD series, have led a dominant pitching staff that has been lights out all season. We've gone 28 plus innings without an earned run scored against them. And I think that in itself just shows how focused they've had to be, not only just for certain innings or out of troubled situations, but for games. And for all these games, these players have shared a special bond dating back to when they first started playing the game of baseball. We've grown up, played select, little league, everything together. We hang out all the time. We play baseball together. We practice together. It's just a real brotherhood that we've built. I think really it's just the culture that we've built. Um, most of these guys have been playing with each other since we were six or seven years old. Um, we've known each other all of our lives. We know how each other play. We know each other's strengths and weaknesses. And I think that's just really helped us uh, throughout this entire season. Up next, we're off to Cy Woods for a special report on the Wildcats' historic baseball season. Then it's back to Pearland to visit with the 6A state softball champions and big news surrounding the 5A state softball champions from Lake Creek. For the Cy Woods Wildcats, it was the school's first ever berth to the state baseball tournament, getting there with an impressive two-game sweep of the Woodlands and last week's 6A Region 2 final, setting the stage for a truly historic season at Cy Woods. As the Cy Woods Wildcats celebrated the 6A Region 2 Championship with a two-game sweep of the Woodlands, you know, the Cy Woods Wildcats are going to state, right? The Wildcats earned their first ever berth to the state baseball tournament. Hey, we weren't coming over here to get no game. It's great. Um, yeah, first time ever in school history. Uh, it's a great accomplishment. We've worked hard for this, and uh, we're looking forward to it. We've been thinking about state for a long time. It's been it's been the goal. Um, I mean, we've worked really hard to get to this point, um, and now it's time to just perform on the biggest stage. It's pretty exciting. It's been a goal since my freshman year and my sophomore year being on varsity as a sophomore. We got a great group of guys here. Everyone does their job, comes in clutch when needed, and there's nobody. It's all about the team and not me. Unselfish and extremely talented, the Wildcats owned a lofty 38-4 record entering the state Final Four, having won 24 of its last 25 games while ranked among the nation's top 10 high school teams. The lineup is loaded with Division I signees, led by pitching ace and Baylor signee Mason Green, along with a host of other high-level talent. But it's much more than talent that makes this team click. You just look at the paper up and down, it looks like a bunch of guys that can play baseball, but it's really more within the paper. You know, we got guys that give effort, every practice go 100%, and that's really what makes us strive through. And we just got guys that just are dogs, just ball out. And the Wildcats certainly balled out in the regional final against the Woodlands. Wyatt Wimberley's two-run single in the seventh inning of game one knocked in the tying and eventual winning run. It was a pretty crazy moment. Never done anything like that before, uh, but I had to get the job done. And the Wildcats got the job done in game two with a decisive eight to nothing victory while making history for the Cy Woods baseball program. We just set a goal early in this fall and you know we started working early and uh, um, knew that if we put in the work uh, that we had the talent to uh, make a deep run in the playoffs. The deepest run in school history. We got two more, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to H Town High School Sports. I'm Todd Freed. In softball last week here on the show, we highlighted a triumphant victory for the Pearland Oilers in the Class 6A state championship game. This week, back on campus, we met up with the trio of the Oilers for more reaction 
from the newly crowned 6A state softball champion. Your conference 6A state champions with a final record of 41 and 3, head coach Laney Clark and the Lady Rams. It's honestly just a great feeling. We haven't won a state championship in 13 years. I think they said that we haven't been to the state tournament in six. So just to go kind of out of nowhere, out of like a streak of not going and then being able to win and bring it back home where it belongs is just, it's just amazing. I'm still in disbelief. It was just a crazy feeling. Like coming out of nowhere and bringing back the tradition. Last year we got to the fifth round and we just, we knew we wanted to go further than we did last year and being able to come out and win state was just a surreal feeling. The regional final, the state semifinal, and even the state finals, you girls went came from behind. Yeah. What about the resilience of this group? You know, our, our state motto was it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter how. Um, our, throughout the three games, it, it really showed like it didn't matter how we did it as long as it got, we got it done. And it just really showed our team's res resilience and never giving up. There's one out, they have a runner on first, and you turn the double play to win the state championship. Tell me about that play. Well, really, I was just expecting the ball because I did not want to mess up. And when it was finally hit to me, I was like, I have to make this. And me and KJ, we love turning those double plays, so I was just focusing on making a good throw to her so she could transfer it easy. And I did, so that's how we won. That was huge news out of Lake Creek this week, where the head coach of the back-to-back -back 5A state softball champion, Lake Creek Lions, Michelle Rachinsky, announced she would be stepping aside as the Lions head softball coach. But talk about going out in style. As we highlighted on last week's show, the Lions captured their second straight 5A state championship with a decisive 8-0 victory over New Braunfels Canyon in the state final. Pitcher Ava Brown was simply magnificent with 15 strikeouts. Remarkably, she was a perfect 81-0 on the mound in her career at Lake Creek. Lions finished the season with a 44-1 record and an incredible 85-1 mark over the last two seasons. Here was the reaction after the win, beginning with now former head coach Michelle Rachinsky. What an awesome feeling. I mean, going back to back and uh, I mean, this was a, a tough run for us, but I, I'm so excited for these kids and, uh, you know, it, it's not easy to, to do this and we're taking it back to, to Montgomery and we did it for the town. It was incredible. Um, last game, uh, last game with these girls, last game with my mom coaching me. Um, we went into it just knowing that we had to get the job well, done and do it for everyone. A little emotional. Last game, last high school game in a Lake Creek uniform. Uh, very bittersweet, you know. Loved going out with my best friends and, and playing our heart out. I knew it was it, but I didn't, I, it didn't hit me. Like, I, I've been, I felt it all day. I felt that, you know, like, I knew I was going to cry more than likely, but it was just, it all just hit me at once, like that was it, and, and I went out with probably one of the best games of my career, which is all I could ask for with myself. I'm forever grateful to be able to play with all these amazing girls, for these coaches, for this community. I mean, we're three hours away from home, and it, was, it felt like a home game. We had full stands, you know, full support from everybody, and I just, I hope that I left the legacy I was meant to leave at Lake Creek. Back to Coach Wachinski, our ARS Greater Houston Coach of the Year last season. She'll remain at Lake Creek as a teacher, assistant athletic coordinator, and assistant golf coach. But after 23 years as head softball coach, the move will allow her additional time to spend with her family, especially with two kids now playing college ball, football and softball respectively. Our congratulations to Coach Wachinski for her amazing success as a mentor and head coach including back-to-back -back state softball championships. Welcome back to East Town High School Sports. I'm Todd Freed. Well, all good things must come to an end. 
But on this, our last show of the season, we leave you with even more greatness with our Rhythm Energy electrifying plays of the week. 6A state semifinals, Pearland's Damian Landry at third base. Great play, the long throw, and gets the out. The Oilers 10-run rule, Austin Westlake, and advance to the state finals. What a performance. State championship game for Pearland. Here's Nico Partita at third base. He stays with it and makes the grab. But Flower Mound is the state champ. Magnolia West, bottom seven, up 3-2. Argyle, two runners on, line drive, but Jackson Blank makes the running catch, and that ends the game, as Magnolia West wins its first ever state baseball championship. How about that dog pile? Congratulations to the Mustangs. Your Rhythm Energy electrifying plays of the week. Now that's what I call electrifying. What a memorable look back. But guess what? It's now time to look ahead. We'll be back here at the end of August for week one of the football season. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Todd Freed. Until next time, stay H-Town proud.